Salutations, the name's Cavill. One is without a doubt the most interesting object show ever made. Not the highest quality, that's obviously I.I., but in terms of intrigue, one will be the frontrunner for a very long time. For those not in the know, first of all, spoilers, second of all, one is a deconstruction of object shows designed to showcase the immense trauma and consequences they would entail in the real world. Or at least the first season is, the second season backs off that angle and becomes more... noir. The show's most popular character is without a doubt the host, Aerie. The popularity is very polarizing, however. Depending on who you ask, Aerie is either a misunderstood good guy or an extremely deep villain. What are my thoughts? Well, to answer, we'll need to start at the beginning. Not much is known about Aerie before he died. I mean, I could theorize that he's critical again, but all we really know is that he died in a car crash. In this series, Limbo is just a room with a radio, which dumps you into an afterlife that's more or less randomly generated. Aerie found a quaint clearing in the woods, and he seemingly had the Outlander skills to spend his afterlife there. It was a peaceful life. In fact, too peaceful. The loneliness became unbearable, but it wouldn't last forever. He eventually found a computer in a cavern, and after a bit of finagling, he was able to create and control a planet using it. After a bit more finagling, he found a link to the mortal plane, allowing him to teleport people onto his planet. This was a dream come true. He couldn't enter his planet personally, but he could talk to them through a microphone, meaning he finally had contact with living beings again. However, Aerie doesn't seem to have the greatest social intelligence, because when he teleported a bunch of people to his planet against their will, he was surprised when they began freaking out in terror. To calm them down, he lied that they're on a reality show called One, and a person will be sent home at the end of each episode. The fanbase debates what One stands for because Aerie calls it an acronym, but honestly, I don't believe him. My guess is that he's bad at titles and chose the most simple concept within our human brains, the number one. Anyway, he ends up mistakenly destroying his planet and killing the entire cast. He hadn't finagled with the computer long enough to revive them, meaning that these deaths weighed heavily on him for a long time, and he spent years afterwards before giving it another try. That's when the show starts, with the new and improved one, and we watch as these contestants are all put through the ringer physically and psychologically. Tomato, get out of there! What happened? What just happened? I regenerated him. Or, respond him is a better term. Contestants are constantly being hurt and even killed, yet Aerie refuses to reflect on his actions, just mentally going limp whenever the contestants complain. Also, in this show, the contestants have personal lives which are falling apart because of Aerie. When the main character returns home, he finds that he was presumed dead, his apartment is repossessed, he was replaced at work, and really, there was just nothing left because of Aerie. Not helping is that Aerie's monotone voice gives no clues as to how he feels. It gives the impression he's a completely disconnected psychopath. Alright, Moldy's team is full. That means Adam, Abstracty, Folder, and Airline Food will make up the last team. Oh, I think we should be now called the- Now that we've got all the teams situated, we can start the next challenge. We should be Your the- Your next challenge is to- uh, your next, your next challenge is, we should be, your next challenge is to, uh, to run to the tree. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. Ari is doing textbook poor communication. Why does he host a fake reality show that ruins people's lives? Well, he loves it. Not the life ruining, just the social aspect, having a bunch of people to hang out with. Hey guys, your next challenge is to find the rock in the 
this pile of sand. The first person to find it will be safe from elimination. Three, two, one, go. He often demonstrates how much he cares about the contestants, but it falls on deaf ears because you know he abducted them against their will. Liam breaks his leg due to Aerie's negligence, but Aerie makes a cast for him. Liam drowns for the same reason, but Aerie revives him. When we finally meet Aerie in person, he doesn't really make excuses, he doesn't keep any secrets, and he doesn't try to hurt anyone, even when it would benefit him. To him, one is something he must do or else he'll be alone for eternity. Does that fully excuse his actions? Not according to him. He knows he's hurting the contestants, but his reaction is dutiful, not fearful. What about the first competition? The... After I found out I could plug the computer into one of the planets, I found a way to bring people from different places onto the planet. Once they were on the planet, they all got pretty scared. So the best thing I could think of is to say it was a show. They would do challenges, get eliminated, and one would win. It sounded fun, but I didn't get very far. After Calculatory was the first one eliminated, I told them the next challenge was to throw your rock as far as you can. When I dropped the first one, it crushed the whole planet and the contestants were killed too. At the time, I didn't know how to respawn any of them, so it just ended the competition there. I spent the next years making sure the next competition would be better. Now, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. The last question to ask in our psychoanalysis is how? How does Aerie do what he does while not only having a strong understanding of right and wrong, but also caring so much about his victims? Well, the answer gets a little ugly, so let's quote a statistic. Loneliness can be just as bad for your health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. The difference, cigarettes kill you biologically while loneliness kills you mentally. But Aerie is already dead and doesn't have that escape hatch. So is Aerie a good person deep down? Well honestly, the question itself has an inherent problem, because Aerie isn't a person anymore, he's an immortal. Asking whether you would be a good person after centuries of loneliness is much like asking whether you'd be a healthy person after smoking 15 cigarettes a day for centuries. You can't imagine exactly how it'd turn out, but you know what the overall answer is. He's susceptible to emotions that reach levels we can't even imagine, and as such, he ended up shedding a lot of his humanity. Interestingly though, not all of it. Despite what Aerie was faced with, he never fully succumbed to being the villain. Much of his moral fiber remains intact. He never hurts people, he never lies to people, and he fixes everything he can. These are ethics he refuses to bend on. This is how we know he was a good person back when he was alive. Why else would he accept so much responsibility for the contestants? In the end, I sadly cannot define Aerie as a good person. Instead, I call him a malevolent spirit with flecks of goodness remaining. You might be wondering why I call him that instead of a good spirit with flecks of malevolence, and that comes down to Aerie's personal interactions more than his internal feelings. When Aerie wants the contestants to have fun, they get scared. When Aerie wants the contestants to recover from their wounds, he inflicts them even deeper. When Aerie wants the contestants to stay with him, they stay with him. Ultimately, Aerie is much more successful when he's being a malevolent spirit than when he's being a good person, so it would be completely disingenuous to define him by the latter. It'd be like calling Xi Jinping a good president based on Chinese graduation statistics, or calling the Sega Genesis a good console based on blast processing. You may have your good moments, Aerie, but I'm sorry. You are found guilty.